harm. I am Supergirl. Hey guys, just finished watching Supergirl season three, episode twelve, for good. Um, this episode was was interesting. I mean, it was it was a different episode. It was actually kind of a filler episode to the whole like Lena Luther story. It was kind of weird the way things happened with this because there was bits and pieces throughout the beginning, like at the, the really at the beginning, and then really at the end that was you know essential for the season. But really, you could cut this whole thing out, this whole episode out, and it doesn't need to happen. Um, and it's not like. I, you know, it's interesting when when they do these episodes, the fillers, sometimes they do crossovers, the Flash, they do crossovers, the main crossovers, and they do other things, or they have, you know, they do things with the family dramas and stuff, they bring in, you know, and they bring in, uh, what's it, Dr. Danvers type thing, I forget her name is, but uh, they bring in, um, original Supergirl, I can't think of her name, but... Uh, uh, Lin Linda Carter, but um, whatever. It's really interesting to see when they bring that in. They bring the the this the things like that, and they bring uh, Eliza Danvers. That's her name. And they bring in her, and then they do things like that, like when Supergirl and Carl went back to their um, went back home type thing to get that before the crossover type thing. That was an interesting thing, so that they could do deal with things right after Alex and uh, Maggie's separated type thing. And that was an interesting idea to play with that. That was uh, getting backstory and stuff. That was an interesting episode. Whereas this, it was just uh, let's just make them busy for this episode to get get rid of them type thing. And it was really annoying the way they did that. They're finding at the end that oh, it has no connection to anything. And it was interesting that as things were going on, I kind of got the feeling that you know there was a third person behind, like there was that was framing. Um, I was attacking Lena and Edge and framing both of them to do it to attack each other, which is an interesting story and an interesting idea. But then it came turned out that that third person was Lean was Lena Luth was uh, Lillian Luther, and it went nowhere. She's back in prison, type thing. And it's just like okay, there's not not much really furthering on this Rain storyline in this episode. There's nothing do, doing it other than. The, the the dream that Kara wakes up with at the end at the beginning of the movie and the, and the beginning of the episode and at the end of the thing she really recognizes who it is type thing and it was just kind of weird the way they did that so I'm gonna get over it all. let's start and get into the, all the points here I have noted here on uh, like the beginning like I said the rain uh, dream and stuff was kind of interesting seeing that and then like at the end at the at, at the end it was interesting seeing that there um, and then finding out that rain can't be tracked like. Uh, but like by their heat signature, just like Kara and Kal El can can be tracked and stuff. That was interesting with that. Then we get that uh, tidbit that uh, Monel says that um, the Legion has fought Zod and Superman has killed Zod. Uh, Wind says that. So it's interesting to see. Is that mean are they saying that the uh, Man of Steel movie is in continuity for Supergirl? That's interesting to see that because he's also got I think season one or a few seasons ago we got uh, that the Superman Christopher Reeves movie the first one where he chased after the two missiles that spun around the Earth type thing um, was part of the continuity type thing. So that could be cool seeing that bringing those parts and having them all be in within in continuity for this is interesting idea to see. Although it kind of isn't in continuity, is and not um, because there's a different actor playing uh, Superman obviously and all the in different actor playing Zod. But uh, interesting to see that since we had that guy. Uh, I think it was the end of last season, end of season two, when Kara was uh, um, was was getting attacked by uh, wh what was it? Um, there was uh, Marnell's mother had um, had uh, had Superman, um, and he was infected with the silver kryptonite, thinking that Kara was Zod, and he was beating him up again, type thing. And that was how when we saw that guy. Uh, so it was interesting seeing that. And seeing different things, and it was cool seeing that. It was cool seeing the different uh, mentions that things were getting for for the Legion and stuff. I just would like to see you know a bit more uh, of different things. You know, has Superman gone to the future to see uh, to meet up with the Legions? Has he done that? You know, because there was a um, a Legionnaire ring in in the Fortress of Solitude. So that assumingly that is Superman's, and he's already gone to the future, or they've already come back and hang and met him type of thing. That would be cool to see what that is. Maybe get a flashback to that. Who knows? We we'll probably won't get that with Superman, but it would be cool to see uh, some sort of flashback a little bit with some with someone or something like that, uh, or words just explaining it, or even just a flash forward to or a little bit uh, where Supergirl has to go to the future to get something to come back, and then they, that could be cool to see that. It could be interesting to see how things go. Maybe they could fight some t sort of time traveling person because otherwise it's like, what's the point of having these guys here just to have Monel in, in, in there in, in in the past? It doesn't seem like it's 
it's, it's going anywhere. Well, there's no reason to have them here. It's just, just because they want mon back, but keeping him part of the Legion type thing. It just seems a bit weird. Um, and it's just this whole Legion thing, theme doesn't look like it's going anywhere. It doesn't look like there's going to be any connection so far to the Rain storyline. So hopefully they can connect that two together. And maybe there's some sort of thing that they can need to go back in time back in, or forward in time. And they can do different things with that. And that could be a cool thing to play with. And we could go see what it looks like in, 2000, in the 31st century. That could be cool to see that. Um, it also would be cool to see something like this on Legend of Tomorrow. They go to the 31st century. Is there a Legion of Superheroes in, in their Earth type thing? Was that, does that exist on there on Earth 1? Uh, I imagine it would some version of it, but it would be cool to see what version we have here on Supergirl in the future. And that could be interesting to see that play with that and see, you know, have they met Super, have they met Superman and all that stuff. And like I said, in other uh, reviews, is it, I think it would be cool to see different characters like Bouncy Boy, Arm Fall Off Boy. I think it would be really one that if they go to the future, uh, I'd like to see more uh, Legionnaire characters uh, and I'd love to see Arm Fall Off Boy. I think he would be perfect just to give him a cameo. Doesn't need to be a, a long thing. A cameo would be perfect. Uh, although if they could you find a way to make him useful for a season for a season for an episode uh, and have him an entire episode that would be pretty funny too to have arm fall off boy um but it's really going to be cool to see that so hopefully we can get something like that connecting the whole super uh, legion of superheroes and the rain thing because it seems like they're just here for no reason just because and it's just a coincidence that they're here and there's no really connections as to you know make it give us a connection why even give, give us a reason for having them here uh, they're just here they're just kind of there type thing it's just not really not really doing anything so it's kind of uh annoying the not annoying it's just kind of like the waste when they could be using them properly as a legion they don't feel like the legion of superheroes to me right now uh and then we get another point where Kiara, uh, alex actually takes uh samantha aries to get an uh, mri and she does and all that stuff uh and then they find nothing uh, morgan edge almost killed by his car and then it's like i said and then lena uh, Morgan Edge blames Lena, and then Lena gets poisoned. Lena blames Morgan Edge, and all that stuff back and forth. And I feel like there's a th third person. And then when Lena came up, when uh, Lillian came up, it, it just like it just seemed very, very weird that like it, it felt like there was a third person. But no, 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 it couldn't be Lena. There's a, someone else, and she's also thinks that she's blaming uh, blaming Morgan, Morgan Edge. But it, then it just seemed a bit weird the way things were going, the way they did that. It just seemed to me that. Uh, when it, when uh, Lillian came in, I didn't assume that it was Lillian who did it. I thought, oh well, it's probably it's someone else who's attacking them, and then it's not. And then it just began to be Lillian. It was just kind of okay. It was kind of uh, anticlimactic. Um, but although it was really cool getting the reference to Lex Luthor when he made the dissolving bullets under uh, Thundercorp, uh, which is the Lex Luthor's in the comics or for Wikipedia. Go to Wikipedia in the comics. There's um, a uh, organization that Lex owns, uh, not under uh, Lex Luthor, actually on, uh, under owns an alias, and he, he uses that to keep and stay good, and he keeps that alias as a good person, as a good Samaritan, perfect, not a criminal, so that he can then fund his criminal activity. I think that's interesting to see that how Lena is uh, or Lillian is doing the same thing, using the same company with that. Although if, if Lex Luthor is still in prison, um, wouldn't that company have been found out and disconnected or something? Or who knows if they're if they're still be able to go on their own or disconnected from. Uh, you know the Luthers when they want to disconnect themselves from the Luthers that they had no idea they were even part or had a connection to the uh, Luther family who knows but maybe they just own it it's just no way around it type thing um, yeah then we saw Lillian's behind the bullets and then we see Lillian has Lex's armor that was pretty cool that, that was a really cool idea um, I think it was cool interesting to see that I would think it would have been cool if they had brought that back now that it's destroyed but maybe they'll bring it back later on maybe this is set up to set it up later on have Lena wear it uh, in a fight against Rain, I think that could be a cool thing to see that too. That could be really interesting to see Lena get into the suit and use that as a actually become uh, not a superhero, but maybe you know she uses it at one or two points just to kind of help help out at the last minute. Um, or maybe Alex could put it back on. That could be a cool idea. Maybe um, maybe Lena puts it on for an episode and then afterwards uh, Alex puts it on for another episode type thing. And that could be cool to seeing that. Maybe they give it a paint job and turn it into some sort of uh, some sort of um, some sort of some sort of uh, deo uh iron man suit type thing i think that could be cool um although i don't i don't see them doing that too often maybe one or two episodes here and there uh, but i don't see them making that a regular thing uh just because you know cgi wise it would be a bit to do that all the time instead of just having someone 
in 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 uh, in, in a harness uh, in the air type thing. It's less CGI. So who knows? It's gonna be fun to see where things go with this. See if that suit uh, does get appear. I feel like we'll definitely see it before the end. Uh, but uh, who knows how we'll end up seeing? It. So hopefully we get to see things. And hopefully next week's episode maybe it looks like it's gonna be uh, since it is they are going after. Uh, the next rain character uh hopefully they can really connect that in and bring the legions connected all everything together and uh, everything can slowly start connecting together because it feels like the legion and the um and the rain storyline seem seem very separate i really can't wait to just connect them together because it's getting annoying that they're separate and they're kind of just bouncing off and then you have this morgan edge storyline this third storyline there which is just kind of like every time he's on screen it just annoys me because it's just it's not it's no longer interesting it's the same thing over and over again oh the back and forth back and forth and it's just you know it's just a waste of a, a storyline uh to do that so i think they could find somewhere else to do it maybe bring in uh, eliza danvers and have her give her a storyline again instead of having this morgan edge having the the uh, eliza danvers and having um can't think of her name but the legacy casting and stuff for me uh would be way more would be a better storyline uh than this storyline even if it's you know even if it's another annoying storyline or it can be really that annoying uh having the legacy casting is worth is, is worth the third storyline to me than just focusing on the main storyline and then this storyline that we're having with with Morgan Edge. So I'd much rather have Eliza Danvers around and give her a storyline than have Morgan Edge around. So hopefully we can get something like that and maybe see her in a, in a, in a, in a while. Haven't seen her in a long time. If I'm not mistaken, we still haven't seen uh, Dean Cain in a very long time since season two. I think he, last time we saw him, according to when I last we watched on Netflix, but uh, uh, we saw him, he was fighting Hank Henshaw, the original Hank Henshaw cyborg Superman, and he fell off of a platform and that's it. We don't know if he survived the fight. We don't know what happened, but I think that was back in the episode when Alex and Alex was uh, Alex was saving the refugees from taking off in that ship, and Supergirl was pushing on the thing on the the ship. I think that was the episode. Not sure what episode number that was, but I think that's the last time we saw Dean Kane as Jeremiah Danvers. So hopefully we could bring him back uh, and give, maybe give him a story because that would be way more interesting than the stupid Morgan Edge storyline because it's just driving me crazy. It's just it just feels like it's just a storyline. Just to throw it in there and 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 fill up time type of thing, which is annoying uh, that they do that. There's so many shows like uh, Runaways and the Defenders and all those shows. There are only 13 episodes and they fill up every single every single episode. It's just one story with very little stories connected to it. Um, and then you don't have any of these other storylines. Where in this, you have your Rain storyline, you have your Legion storyline, you have your your your. Then you have your Morgan Edge storyline, which to fill in little cracks and stuff. Instead of just making one storyline, just stretch it all out. Or like Shield, Agents of Shield is doing, do three different storylines throughout the whole season, and each time they're completely stretched out, and everything is that entire storyline. Then another story, and then another story. But when you're in the midst of it. There is no filler episodes. There is no filler of anything. Just one third, one or just one story, complete end to finish, and then another story, complete end to finish, and then another story, and then it all connects. Uh, and else connects together as one long story type thing. And I think that's the way to do it, rather than having this one story stretched out through 20 episodes. It just seems it just seems like there's always filler filler stories. So I think if they're going to do that, just fill every story and keep it with one thing and stop it with the friggin'. Um, the filler episodes because they're annoying unless they're crossovers. If you're going to do musical crossovers, that is perfect. That I love those. If you're going to have uh, different characters or things like that, or even have uh, someone like Mr. P Mr. Pillick, uh, with uh, that, that guy, he was cool. The fifth dimensional imp, he was cool. He was an interesting character from the comics. It was fun to do have, to have a, uh, a a filler episode every, every now and then. But this Morgan Edge is just kind of boring. Like, there's so many things you could do for a filler episode. Uh, which would, would advise against them, but there's just so many other storylines, characters from the comics you could bring in just for a fun, like like I said, um, the uh, Mr. Mr. Pitalik, he could be cool to bring back. Um, we did him, but we could do someone else like that just for one episode, and that could be an interesting filler just for fun, so... That would be better than this Morgan Edge sort on. So let me know what you think, guys, about this in the comments below. What do you think about it? What do you think about this episode? What do you think about Morgan Edge? Do you like his storyline? Do you find him annoying? Uh, what do you think about this? And how do you think there's going to be a connection between the Rain storyline and the Legion storyline? Do you think it's going to come together? Because what do you think of where it's going with the uh, Legend of with the Legion uh, superhero storyline? Where do you think that's going with that? And let me know what you think, guys, about all that in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.
I'm Captain America, here to talk to you about one of the most valuable traits a soldier or student can have. Subscribing. Sometimes subscribing is the key to victory. Sometimes it leads to very little, and it seems like it's not worth it. And you wonder why you waited so long for something so disappointing. How many more of these? You're still here. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, guys. Peace. It's over.